the crew worldwide From Kali to Twitter Real hardcore fans Boxing ass niggas Consistency cops Police the views We'll pull up receipts for any debates you choose Shout outs to Clan Arky for the dope production Ring gang stay with the best discussions yes. Ring gang radio Next, so we had the other card, which was better. Uh, it was a better viewing. You know, we had uh, Vasil Lomachenko versus Luke Campbell. Before we get into that fight, the undercard was interesting enough, barring one fight. And that one fight I'm going to single out right now. Huey Fury should never be on TV again until he learns to throw a fucking right hand. Period. I don't understand why his struggle, his style is so much more struggle than his cousins. I mean, realistically, if he hasn't learned by now, he's not ever gonna learn. So let's just not put him on TV ever for the sake of any boxing fan fucking ever. <laughs> Every time I watch this dude fight, like I'm frankly I'm amazed he gets TKOs, and usually it's in like struggle TKOs, like. The Sam Peter fight earlier in that Saudi Arabia car on that Khan dipshit. So, like, P- my brethren, Peter is washed, and he had a hell of a time trying to do anything. And it took some some bullshit from Sam Peter, who won. I think who just won it out of the fight by then. <laughs> He's like, "Fuck it, you know, you can't get me out of here. I'm gonna just do it." Like, jeez. <laughs> no, I mean, like niggas can't even collect collect checks against this nigga. Like, feel me that bad. Like, yeah, I mean. <sighs> dude, I mean, I mean, do had a title show against Joseph Parker, and that fight was just an eyesore to watch. Awful. Yeah, it was an awful fight. And then this fight with Pavekin. Now, Pavekin, I was hoping Pavekin would actually knock this dude out, find something. But, you know, Pavekin, unfortunately, he's also, I mean, he's in the sunset of his actual career, too. He's in the twilight. Yeah, and so, I think it was banking on Pavekin, you know, getting tired. Because, I mean, to be honest, you know, Fury didn't look bad the first three or four rounds. Like, I, I felt like he was kind of outboxing, provoking, and controlling him. But then it's like, you know, that it, it comes a time in a fight where you see a guy jabbing and jabbing and kind of doing his thing, and then it gets to the point where, like, okay, now you got to do a little more, or that guy is not going to be allowing, you know, he's not going to be jabbed and pushed around by you no more. You got to do something right. else. Start throwing the right hand, the left hook, something. And it never came. And so Pavekin picked it up and, you know, beat his ass the rest of the fight. And, and you know, in a boring, <laughs> a boring fashion, you know, because Fury moves. Fury knows how to survive. He's tough. I think that's why he gets the assignments. Like, I'm, and you know what? Like, if you listen to the commentary, they were saying something about how Pavekin turned down a fight with uh, Tyson Fury. Mm-hmm. So I kind of, you know, I can't even blame Huey Fury on this one. Like, nigga, you ain't won it with my cousin who's the lineal champion. Right. So it's like, you know, Pavekin, uh, I mean, I know he just, and, and this is the thing, he coming off a fight with another champion. So, like, I, <laughs> he still went the distance, right? Yeah, he still went the and 12 struggle still rounds of distance. And like, so pretty I, much. I don't know why he didn't just fight Tyson Fury. There would have been a better fight for boxing and everything. Like, I, I don't get it. Right, but I mean, like I said, because it just it sucked because Pavekin tried. He was the one who tried to open up offensively, but all Fury did was clinch him and hold him over and over and over again. Spoil, jag, negate, negative. Yeah, yeah was, like this is the English version of John Ruiz. Come on, I was like, come on. Like do something like you know. Nah, you know, yeah, that's an insult yeah. to John Ruiz because Ruiz let the right hand go with more authority than that. Yeah, put put some respect on those one two clinches. Ah, no, <laughs> no. Um, never. Yeah, how about that? There's levels. There's come on. There's levels are looking bad. Like like Fury. Nah, I, yeah, yeah. Like I don't. I've never thought I had to say like John Ruiz is levels above somebody. Well, yeah, but he, he, he definitely he, is uh, in Huey Fury. Like, no, yeah. he, Huey, Huey is basically Tyson without any of the redeeming qualities. And I mean any of them. No, no, he's tall. Yeah, he's tall. <laughs> he, he can move a bit. That's it. That's pretty much about it. You know, that's Oh, about. he's tough. He can take some hits. 
because he he took some fades from po- Povetkin, and you know right, his face right. got busted up. But that's it. Like if you, if you got a guy who, you know, you're looking for someone who's non-threatening but could give you rounds and might give you a few jabs in your face. Yeah, Huey Fury's your guy. Oh, yeah. if you want to, but you want to lose your fan base by boring the motherfuckers too. Then yeah, he's definitely your guy. Yeah. <laughs> Enough, enough for that trash ass fight, actually. Yeah, I know. I mean, there were some other interesting fights, like Savannah Marshall, known for being the only only woman to deflect the loss of Krista Shields in amateur or pro. I believe she was on there. She was the open. I think she signed with Maxwell, and she pretty much beat down the girl that she fought. Like Savannah Marshall. Now, for most people, people are like, "Oh, Savannah Marshall, yeah, get that rematch." Savannah Marshall is the truth. Like that's, there's no if ands or buts. She can fight. She can really legit fight. So it, I, and com- compared to what I've seen from Clarissa Shields, the I, I don't expect anything to change status quo. That, that I mean that's just my opinion. Um, don't take it as fact or anything like that unless you know unless you unless you want to. You know what I mean? I, I could agree with you because I feel like we haven't seen the best Clarissa Shields yet. Like honestly, the Clarissa Shields that we should have been seeing this whole time was the one from the hammer fight. That was her best, like where everything came together and, and it was a bad fight. That's the sad <laughs> part about it. <laughs> Cause she was punching better and everything. The defense was on point. Like, Oh my God. Like Car- Clarissa Shields killed shit in that last fight, but we all going to forget about it because the person and then Taylor fight was much better later. And you know, Facts, also facts too. It, it is what it is. Like Carissa Shields, and, and not to just sway. I'm, we're just saying, like you know, we, we you know Pat mentioned it, all the top level boxers out there, potential fights for her, you know. So so I understand. Right. I mean, so like I said, I mean, just not to just don't be afraid. Don't be surprised if Savannah Marshall does, you know, you know, repeats what she did before. You know, that's all. That's all I'm saying. You know? <laughs> You know, we had, uh, you know, Joshua Blatzi, who I think is still a little bit raw, you know. Oh, yes, yes. Very, oh, very, very yeah. raw. Yeah, he but, was catching, catching hands by, by Ford, yo. Yes, and Ford, I believe, is a friend of PJ's. Uh, yes. You know, so, I mean, so we, t- you know, tuned in for that. And um, the fight ended in LB, what you would say was a low blow and a kidney shot or <laughs> right. Yeah, it, it, ended, it ended. Look, it ended on some bullshit, and th- this is why I say that because Ford like put up a good fight, like, but by around the fourth round, you know, the guy was coming on and kind of putting hands on him more. Yeah, and he was, you know, he was wearing him down. You know, we all know Ford was the opponent, so we kind of expected, you know, for things to transition like that. But he put up a stiff test. But the thing is, at toward the end. He gets hit with a low blow, and then he gets hit with a rabbit punch, and then you know that's it. Like, yeah, yeah, the referee is like, you know, you got a guy out there on two fucking back-to-back fouls, and especially when you had a fucking um a late blow later on in the. Or I can't even remember if it was before or afterwards where uh that one that one uh, Mexican cat uh, hit the dude when he was low, and then they got that yeah. reversed. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the Julio was Julio Cesar Martinez fight and Charlie Edwards fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and I'm that's... just looking at it like, wow, like, oh, okay. You know, I just, to me, I just like to see like if someone's gonna lose, let it happen organically. Don't you know? Don't let niggas win on fouls or do some uh, like the Regan Dial fight earlier this year where you know. Motherfucker standing up there perfectly fine, and then the ref just be like, right, you know, that's it. You know, I don't want you to get a second win and whoop this old nigga ass. So, um, yeah, <laughs> right. uh, <laughs> we'll stop that right here. Like, nah, nah, let let people lose. You know, I, I know, you know, boxing's rough sport. Niggas die. You know, we know that shit. But it didn't look like Ford was in his way of getting any type of crazy beating. He wasn't too hurt. But he looked on his way out. Like take yeah. him, take him out the right way. That's all I'm saying. Right. And then speaking of what you mentioned before, the Martinez Edwards fight. I mean, Martinez had that fight won. Like he, yeah. he, he was ready to become the new champion, but he fucked up and landed a clean liver shot while he was on the ground. 
Like, you know, he's a slow ass ref. Yeah, he, I mean, he landed a liver shot. That wouldn't even be surprised. I would have been surprised if it was like throw up after that, throw up green shit over yeah, there. That shit was all. <laughs> Yeah, that's been like that nigga was rolling on the ground like he was trying to put out some uh, fire or something like that. That didn't even done, nigga. You know, because like, he didn't expect it coming. Like that, that shit was hard. Like yeah. that's you think about that type of hit. Like that's the, you know, you a mob enforcer. You beat somebody ass, and yeah. you know that one hit that you just make them remember. Like yeah, pay up next time. <laughs> like that was that hit. You know, they on the ground and he's like, motherfucker, he's like, just remember this. Mm, like, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 I got you, sir. <laughs> Point me take you. Yo, yo, but, yo, that shit had so much, had so much fuckery though. Like, I mean, pretty much at the end, like, oh, they, yeah, hey, we have a new champion. But then, yeah, the WBC, because they kept on showing the re- the replay of that over, over the ring. They don't have like instant replay, but they kept on showing us it so it looked bad. So, the, so I think uh, uh, Mauricio Suleiman, who was there, you know, came up and reversed the decision. He was like, nah, nah, Martinez didn't win the belt and declared that shit a no contest. Now, personally, I thought that should have been a DQ since it was a foul on the ground and he couldn't continue. But this is this is the gray area between DQs and fouls. Like you just like sometimes I, th- I think they just roll the dice in their head about what should I call this shit. Now, I mean, I could see it as a foul because. I feel like the ref was taking his fucking time. And and since the guy was throwing a lot of body shots and, you know, you have a nigga in front of you, you know, leaning over and bent over, you know, the whole Roy Jones, Montel Griffin shit, right. you know, it's hard. You you know, you're just winging shots and you got to look at his aggressive style. Dude was just winging a whole bunch of different types of power shots from everywhere, swarmed him. So, you know, if you're not one of those athletic referees who are, who's near the action and, and seeing everything that's happened and able to jump in, jump in and out, then you know he get a guy hurt. He's gonna keep going. Like look at look at the Tapia uh, Kirkland stoppage. Yeah, where Kirkland down there puts dude into the ropes wall, whatever the fuck. Yeah, and not and not like, uh, with yeah, knocks him out with the shot that was just one, two, man. You know, one, two. Yeah, they, and like it's like career cool. altering shots. Like, yeah, Tapia still ain't recovered from that shot. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> you know, Tapia is a, a finished, finished, finished fighter. And yeah, I mean, that's one of those situations. But at least it was a body shot. So unfortunately, yeah. so unfortunately for Martinez, you know, his, uh, his brain was short lived. So WBC declared it a no contest and is going to order the rematch. And uh, yeah, and hopefully Martinez learns, and then be like, "Damn, you know, I need to, I need to control my punching." And I'd say, "I'm mean, yeah. a champion," you know. Because at the end of the day, it's up to him. I mean, yeah, I'm sitting on the referee a little, you know, maybe a lot, but I, I feel yeah, like he he could have been on it. He could have been on it more, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, Martinez. You the guy throwing the punches. You got to know, you know, you got to have control in there. So exactly. I just hope they get a rematch, but I don't think Edwards wants it, you know. Nah. That I, that type of fight, nah. Yeah. <laughs> he looked think- relieved when that shit was done. Like, I've never seen a guy get fouled out or whatever. And happy is over. Like, fuck it. Like, nigga can have a belt. Fuck it. Had my kidneys, all that. Yeah. Tell him stop throwing punches. <laughs> Oh, that that's pure facts, man. But yeah, I I hope that we do see. I mean, Edward does like man up and give him a rematch or whatever. And uh, like I said, we hope that Martinez will win it a lot cleaner next time. Uh, so we get to now Lomachenko versus Campbell. Now, I mean, I know. I mean, I, I was excited about this fight somewhat, you know. And yes. So was P. You weren't LB. I oh, no, oh, 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 I wasn't. Nah, nah, nigga. I was hyped for this fight. Re- remember, I was the one saying that this this should be a more important, bigger fight than Kovalev Yard. And how yeah. Kovalev Yard was getting all the buzz, all the shine, and this was the better fight. So, nah, nah. I, I just had to correct you on that. You know, I, I love this fight from the from the get-go. I, you know what I mean? Okay. You love this fight. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't... Sh- I, I, I didn't shit on it. I ain't shit on it. That's yeah, also true, yeah, because you know, you, you're like, you're quick to shine a fight that doesn't, you know, doesn't, doesn't meet your standards. I mean, P's, you know, P's very. Uh, I think it was P. P. Who ain't really was hyped about it. Like I was hyped for the fight, like because I knew yeah, Campbell I, I, was gonna make it a good fight. 
Yeah. No, I liked the fight. I just said I like I prefer Kovalev yard. But I yeah, I didn't yeah, like the did. fight. Mm-hmm. So okay, Pat, get, get get it correct. You know what I mean? You know, <laughs> putting words right. in niggas' mouths and shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I stand corrected. Yeah, I don't please. want the Lomachenko fans to come after me. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. <laughs> the, like the Laura fans. You know I mean, but but now nah, it's different. I, I fucks with Lomachenko. Yeah, right? well, I mean, I mean like, he pound for pound number one. And you guys, of course, know my my views about Lomachenko. I yeah, mean, go after Pat. You know, he he, yeah. he still got Salido jokes. Y'all y'all go after him. Well, like I said, I mean, if it's true, you know, fuck it. You know, I, I always spit the truth. And unfortunately, unfortunately, the one truth that I spent happened to be incredibly correct. So, so, uh, so yeah, you know, yeah, that, I, I'm that, talking that, about that right now about that shit, nigga. What? That, that, that Lomachenko, that um, Toledo joke is already way past its expiration. That's you shut up. <laughs> you know, Say but, it again, B. That look. <laughs> way past its expiration. It will never be way past its expiration. Like, only until he gets another loss. Speaking of that, like during the whole promotion of this shit too, by the way, like the promotion of Lomachenko, like I understand you got you got to market, you know, ESPN top right, you got to market the you got to market the motherfucker, man. But I just found out, I just found out that like, there was literally very little mention of him losing to Salido. The way they were talking, like this nigga was undefeated and just ran through these three divisions in thirteen fights without taking a single loss. That was the, uh, and, and and that was sort of annoying me for now. I know you're probably saying, you know, Pat, oh, Pat don't like going to check on you. So, yeah, of course you would probably pick up on this shit. You're damn right, I would. No, know? no, I, I peeped it. But, yeah. you know, like Pat's, I'm sorry, like Kick P said, most niggas feel like he's kind of redeemed himself from that. Yeah. It's still a bad look. It's a loss. But if you, you lose him to Orlando Salido in your second fight. I mean, and you almost have him out of there in the last round. Like, God damn, get a nigga a break, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Shit. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a reason why Salido was took his ball and went home on some na 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 na. Because Lomachenko couldn't agree to terms. That's uh, that was, that, that's what happened, bro. Lomachenko was like Lomachenko was trying to tell the the master boxer Orlando Salido what to do. Who does that to your to, to your to your daddy? You know that, that was rude, man. I'm, I'm big on family. You know the father, like the son, shouldn't be talking back to the father. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, so I, w- I wasn't surprised if Salido was like tell this nigga to go to the corner, man, wear a dunce cap and think about what he said. I mean, yeah. Lomachenko wanted it. They could have paid that nigga the money and ran it back, but I guess it, it was like fuck it. Niggas know what it is. Y'all saw that 12th round. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna move on, and I can respect that now. No, but, I might not respect that all the way, but you know it is what it is. But there is the one thing that I do, uh, the one thing about that fight, and I wish that they actually did um, bring up in the promotion is this fight. This fight taught Lomachenko what professional boxing was all about. Because guarantee you, if Salido wasn't the one, another fighter would have given him that lesson. But yeah, he Campbell. Got it, yeah, yeah, because and he got it from a rugged. He got it from a rugged. But goat level Mexican fighter. So when you do He's that, the epitome of Mexican fighter. I, yeah, fight, the yeah, epitome yeah. of Mexican school of boxing. Exactly. You know. You know. Let's like say no. Clim- he doesn't abuse clombuterol, and that steroid thing was bullshit. He oh was yeah, yeah, with Guerrero. Yes. Yeah. He put he his foot Guerrero in Guerrero's ass. ass. Yeah. Exactly. The, the, the best fighter that whole fucking night of boxing. Yes. Yeah. That in the areola knockout. That yeah. fucking Floyd fight was trash. Yes. Goddamn Baldemir fucking dance yes. match. Yes. Oh, and Paul Williams put in work too, nigga. I, I got the fight. I got the pay per view uh, VHS, nigga. Right? Facts. All facts. My, my, my man LB just spit some pure facts right now. Clap for him. Word. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? But um, one thing, but Salido gave Lomachenko that education. Like to, to be a dog, like you know, like if not, then Lomachenko would be like frittering around the ring, you know, instead of getting down to the nitty gritty, and that helped him, of course, in this next fight, unfortunately, against a fighter who I'm high on, still high on, Gary Russell Jr. And then we saw the dog again in the Linares fight, where Linares took him to a drink before he came back and then with the body shot. So I always and so, he had an injury, and he had an injury too. So that fight did that fight the. 
although it lost, he learned from it and it helped him in other fights. Uh, so this is why, I, and this is why, like when I was saying, you know, if you guys heard my little prediction video, you know, I dropped some bars on them, they were fired, you know, but I said before, you know, um, Campbell would give him a little trouble in the beginning, but he would adjust and score a knockdown in the later half, the second half of the fight on his way to a decision. That's exactly what happened. Exactly. Uh, but Campbell, like I said, and this is where I think Campbell, um, oh, I was, I don't, I don't, see, Campbell should have gotten a little bit more rougher with him. And, like, I mean, Campbell can fight, can box, and everything like that. And I, the, and the kid is good. But for someone like Lomachenko, because especially when he had the high advantages that he, he had, the advantages he had, should have been a little bit more rougher with uh, Lomachenko. But, you know, he, he was just, he, he, he was more than happy just to be, you know, you know to be technical boxing and try to do their version of McCollum, uh, Mike McCollum and James Tony up in there. Yeah, that's a fail on every part, you know. Exactly. You know, yeah, so you're not, you're not going to recreate that fight. Not, not in this era, like, you know. Yeah. And, but the thing is, they, they had a damn good fight. They did. I, I said from the beginning, Campbell had the same attributes that Lenares had. Right. Which Lenares gave him trouble. You know, he had the height, you know, he had the length, right. he had the athleticism. Right. He has the power, has this quickness, and the boxing ability, you know. And he's, you know, naturally bigger, so he's going to give a guy like Lomachenko, a, you know, problems. And he did. I felt like he gave him problems the whole fight. It was a close, competitive fight. But the difference is, you got two types of competitive fights. You got competitive fights where it's competitive in a round sense. Because, mm. like, in the Lenares fight, it was competitive, but Lenares was winning rounds in, in, in the competitiveness. Right. Like, exactly. I thought he won, like, at least four rounds. You know, Lomachenko I mean, I, was winning, come you know, towards the end. I mean, I had Lenares up, you know. I mean, like I said, I mean, the judges, like, it, it, was, a, it was a split draw. At the time of the stoppage, I mean, it was right? a close because because Lenares was he was doing enough to win rounds. Mm. See, the thing is with Campbell, he was making the fight close because he was making the rounds close and competitive. But right, every round right. for for some reason for as close as the round he could make, he wasn't winning rounds like that. That's the difference. He was making them tough for Lomachenko to win them, but he couldn't yeah. win them himself. Right. I think part of the clear, I mean, especially what, especially like the last two rounds, like I think that's when Campbell started looking a little bit shaky, especially in the eleventh round. Like I thought, I thought Lomachenko was going to end the fight right there. And then, what's up with Lomachenko dropping niggas in the round he, in round eleven? Anyways, he did it with Pedraza too. He had Pedraza almost ready to go there too. Like something about that eleventh round. He's putting, he's putting he the body. Work. <laughs> he's putting the body work. That's also like, true. Fucking, fucking. Um, I was telling PJ that like fucking um, Luke Campbell's torso was just like I felt like like you know how like you know niggas always stick out their chin like oh hit me hit me give me your best shot I felt yeah. like Campbell was sticking out his torso like okay like <laughs> his, his torso was just there for the punches. <laughs> you look like a damn oh, uh, nice. those karate boards just all dented up and bruised and shit. <laughs> Some, kick, some Van Damme kickboxers. Nigga Torso was a bamboo stick. <laughs> Chipped up and just whittled away. <laughs> but, but, but see, that, see, and that's the same thing I have with Campbell in the Lenares fight. He made the fight close with Lenares, but he wasn't doing enough to take the rounds to me. And same thing with Lomachenko. Like, he would have a good little flurry. Or, you know, he would send Lomachenko backwards a little bit with, with, a, with a bomb, you know, because right. he got he got popping his shots. He got the reach. So he, he just launched these long range attacks, which is cool. But then it's like he couldn't keep Lomachenko out there. He couldn't tame him. And Lomachenko would come back and he would fucking throw a jab or a fucking overhand or whatever. And he would fucking snap Luke Campbell's head back. Or it would make him go backwards or some shit like the his punch reaction is horrible like the way he takes punches make it look worse than it is mm. so it makes the ring generalship look bad right. but he hurt but he hurt Lomachenko he did but then Lomachenko put hands on him again after that like he hides this shit like to me when he hurt Lomachenko 
it just looked like he buzzed him. He didn't hurt. He Lomachenko didn't look hurt. Hurt like he's out. His he's on his way out or some shit. He just looked buzzed. Like oh shit, he caught Lomachenko with a good shot. Lomachenko definitely felt it. Then you know, then nigga got poised, boxing ability. He comes back. He's snapping Luke Campbell's head back. Like Campbell couldn't capitalize on any type of offensive moments he had for all that size and power and, and strength and athleticism. Right. And, uh, yeah, and it cost him now. I mean, now, the official scores of the fight were far too wide for me to accept. Like, I mean, they... they uh, Campbell what, only they, won, like, what, three rounds? I think I gave him, like, three combined, or Yeah, combined, yeah. You know, I, I thought I thought the judges were both. Now, I mean, I had the I had the fight 116, 111. You know, but it was 160. Whoa, whoa, get the fuck out the man! Fight was nah. Lomachenko handled that nigga. Nah, I didn't think. It, I, I guess the scores had like the first scores had it like it was a wash, and it wasn't. Not to me. I thought they I mean, have it like the Pacquiao Algeria scores. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You know, and just like, and it wasn't that type of fight. You know, what I'm saying. But honest, I could understand why they had those scorecards, because even though the the rounds are close, one guy keeps winning them. I mean, there was some toss up. There was some toss up rounds, and that's why I. That's why. No, I, I like what I, one? <laughs> no, I thought I thought I thought Campbell won like three rounds in the beginning. Like three of those first those, those first four rounds were tough scores for me. Very tough. They were both I mean, yeah, like Campbell, the majority of Campbell's rounds that he won were early rounds. But then after that, it's like he kept it up competitive and but Lomachenko just overtaking him. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, like I said, I mean, I have to find out, I have to figure out, I mean, I'd have to go find my sheet or what rounds, but that was my actual score from that fight, 1600. Yeah, but then I, I gotta remember, Pat, you know, we just had a whole dramatic monologue of Pat and his you know bias against Lomachenko so I I can see how you know he'd have a you know an extra <laughs> nigga 116 111 is still pretty is, is, is a good range it's a good score you know it ain't, it ain't like what I said it ain't like I said 114 113 nigga I ain't mad at it That'd be some yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let it pass you know it's acceptable score for Pat you know Man, fuck you, uh, <laughs> we, we, no, could, we, could, we could go with that. That's 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 a cool score. <laughs> I'll give you a, a semi-hard time, nigga. Shit. Nigga, I, I know how to score fights, man. My score is like bona fide, nigga. Not, yeah, not I, for them Danny Garcia fights. I, I got them John Blaze scores, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, let's not. Let's not go that far. Yeah. Uh, Keep you away from any Danny Garcia fight. Keep King P away from any Laura or any back foot boxing ass nigga fight. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. And, uh, you know what? PJ cool. P- P- PJ scores be, be on point. It's just it's just a proper pound list. That, that, you know, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> He's that, that like that knowledgeable, that knowledgeable guy, but he don't keep up with like none of the new niggas, like like oh, some Lil Wayne shit. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm dope. Like, you know, I don't know these other niggas that dick ride me. Like, <laughs> I don't know who who Lil 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 uh, Pepperidge Farms or <laughs> Lil Keebler Elf. I don't know these Lil new niggas, nah. <laughs> So, so, nah, I mean, yeah, I'm just fucking with y'all, but yeah, uh, at the end of the day, Campbell had a good account of himself, he made it a tough, good fight, and, you know, this is what it means to me when we look at matchups and we have guys who are threats, they're not necessarily, you know, the most, you know, the best names or the most accomplished names, but they're right. legit threats, like, like, Pedraza is a, maybe, is a more accomplished name, than Campbell, but Campbell was definitely a better fighter, you know, a better matchup for for uh, Lomachenko, and it shows. Even though everybody bitches and moans about how Lomachenko didn't look fantastic in the Pedraza fight, I mean, I thought he looked good and you know beat dude ass, but with you know Campbell, he had to work for that shit. He had to work hard for it. He had to take some shit. Exactly. Yeah, so I mean, 
man. Yeah, I mean, you can complain about that performance, but now Lomachenko has three of the four lightweight belts and is probably waiting on uh, Richard Kome and Tyson Lopez for their fight. Well, I'll the be in pound for pound number one. They don't fucking give me shit about Crawford when he's fighting damn uh, Samuel Vargas leftovers. <laughs> on pay-per-view. <laughs> No, 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 who? Oh, oh, the guy Spence here. already took care of? No, I mean, no, maybe I next year. I wish. I wish he would fight Cal Brook. And, and you know, and you're right. That would still be a better opponent. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just uh, being real. Like, but nah, he's, not, he's, facing, he's facing the guy with more, like, fucking alphabets in his name or fucking constant. constant. Like, no oh, more, more vowels in his name. Yeah. Now, what are those Kalzaki opponents? <laughs> <laughs> Mick Carr <laughs> Keyboard <laughs> ramble <laughs> Oh man But yeah man Like niggas can't t- I mean I'm not even saying Lomachenko the fighter of the year Cause his wins weren't all that big Like Kralla No fuck out of here I shit it on that fight Rightfully so Put it in the bars and boxing and All of that Gave it the whole nine But Campbell I can respect that fight so me personally, I just feel like Lomachenko just has one quality win this year. Right. Whereas some, as someone like you know Pacquiao or even Kovalev, you know they have two quality wins. Yeah, really, yeah. Especially, yeah. 